The Morgan Report with David Morgan. I'm David Morgan of TheMorganReport.com. Well, I am in a secured location at UC Davis, in Northern California, here for a variety of reasons. But just do a real quick weekly perspective. As we know, the markets have been uh, very interesting, as they have been for quite some time. Uncertainty in the stocks, uncertainty in the bonds. Gold and silver are not performing as expected, although I think we're pretty close to a low in both gold and silver. I won't say this is the low, although someone named John Perez of Silver's Money, who most of you will know from his Telegram channel, and I interviewed him several times on the Crypto Conspiracy series, did call the bottom. I actually was asked months ago, what did I see as the worst case scenario for silver? What would that be? I said 18. That doesn't mean 18.00, it means eight and handle 18. So 18.17, 18.72, somewhere in the 18 range. Does that mean 17.92 would count? I'd say, yeah, basically. The commitment of traders, as you're probably aware, is extremely bullish. And I've seen this in the past several times, and I have a lot of experience looking at the commitment of traders. And there's no doubt of how bullish it is. However, it's not that good for timing. It's good for positioning, meaning that you can start to scale in at these levels, but uh, doesn't necessarily mean the market is going to take off immediately. But it does mean it's a good entry point as far as a longer term perspective. So I'll leave it there. Use your own judgment. The miners are just getting killed. It's really, really a heartache for most of us. I mean, you look at Newmont Mining and what it's selling at relative to what it was selling at the last time gold was 1700 and change. And it's a substantially different price, as you well know. It's probably the best place you can go if you are brave into the top tier cash rich unhedged royalty and mining companies. But no one wants them when they're this cheap. And everyone's disgusted. The people that have believed in the mining sector, of course, are underwater in almost all cases. So I would definitely hold. I wouldn't um, do other, anything that hold the best. You might reposition, get rid of some of the dogs and look at what's got better prospects. And as we all know, once this metals market takes off, then everything will fly along with it. But it's best in the beginning of the next move up to stay with the top and mid-tier companies. We will be making a change in the Morgan Report uh, next month. We're going to go from we're going to have four categories rather than three. We're going to keep the top tier. We're going to keep the mid tier. Then we're going to put out junior producers because in the speculative section, I think there are three or four of those that are actually producers, which is the best risk to reward profile because they're producing the assets: silver, gold, molly, lithium, whatever the case may be. But as a producer, as long as they're profitable or close to it, they have exploration potential on the same property in most cases. So that's an upside. The second one is to change the flow rate or the pro production rate of the facility itself. And that can be added on and get a higher valuation in the market. And then the speculation category, of course, we will maintain as speculations, and especially in that category, it's best to bet a little to win a lot. Certainly, we've had a couple of very interesting projects in there, as most of you are well aware. And we've got an update for those that have follow one of these tech companies with the, uh, that's ESG special. It's been beat up rather significantly. And haven't given up hope. I interviewed the old CEO and the new CEO during the week, posted it up on the members only portion of the website and got an update. As far as the markets are concerned, I already covered. What I suggest now is that uh, you go to our YouTube channel. There's a couple ways to get there. You can go to the blog and check out what we've done all week. And then on the right hand side of the blog, there is a navigation bar with the icons for YouTube, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever else. Uh, if you go to the YouTube channel, it's called The Morgan Report. I suggest you scroll over to the community button. I've done this in the past. I continue to do it. I don't post a lot there, but what I do post, I think is extremely valuable. And that's why I take the time to do it. I usually make a comment at the top. There's one that I commented on. There's nothing more powerful than the truth. You have all heard me say that numerous times. It's a pretty good video. I think it's not that long. If I recall correctly, it's 20 minutes or so. And below that one is a fun one. Uh, I just watched the Elvis movie last weekend. 
And after I got back from the movie, I did a little search engine checking on stuff. And during that check, I found a movie that's a, a mockumentary, not a documentary, a mockumentary of uh, Elvis Lives. And it's actually pretty entertaining. I enjoyed it. I thought I'd post it to break up the uh, stress that we're all under. So you can look at it or not. Obviously, it's up to you. So I'm going to sign off here. I will be back uh, my normal workstation in the middle of the week. The next Morgan Report will be published on the first of the month. And again, changing the categories, we have a lot to say about the precious metals, the energy sector, geopolitics, and we're doing an update on one of the majors because one of our majors or in the top tier has made an acquisition that is accredited to it, and yet the price of the stock fell, which means we have an opportunity. So we will be reporting on that as well. So this is David Morgan of themorganreport.com signing out until next week's weekly perspective.